Hey y'all, um, just wanted to give y'all a little update and um, I haven't been on here in a long time so and give y'all like a little tour of my room slash baby room surprise I had a baby so um yeah I so I just want to give you like a quick little tour um of yeah the my baby room my room and the baby's room together um this was something that I looked at a lot when I was pregnant because I didn't think that there was a point to have a whole separate room for the baby because usually the baby's in the room with the parents the whole time anyway. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to give y'all like a little tour of our room and show you like a different way or a few ideas how to, uh, you know, have, have a joint room um, with your baby, with your newborn baby. So, yeah let's get right into it so i'll start by showing y'all this area um this is like his little changing table slash um slash like closet basically <laughs> um so i just got this little um I don't know what this is but it's like little strings and I was gonna take retake pictures of these but these are like his little ultrasound pictures and I got this little string thing and they just clip on there um but I am still actually gonna take pictures of those and put it on a Polaroid picture so they'll actually you know stretch out they're like curling up so I'm gonna redo that but um then we have his little baby Yoda uh plush toy um got his little changing mat thing here uh have some diapers here his wipes and his stuff basically that we use on him every day and you know gripe water and stuff like that he's only um he's almost about to be two months so we're yeah we're using gripe water and all that stuff still his products and his products um i can do like a review on some of these too this is almost empty i need to get some more but i use walita products and as you can see mustella because he was breaking out a bit with um eczema and baby acne so i have like a lot of like products right now but we use uh the pseudocreme and uh you know aquaphor and stuff like that and um birds and bees we use this every day the mustella micellar water and then um this is this is what helped us a lot um to clear up the eczema um, my boyfriend actually found it um and we were kind of, I was kind of scared, but he used it before with an, uh, his other, his older child. And he said it really worked for him. So um, this cleared it up. I think this is what cleared it up along with the micellar water. And then we have the cleansing, basically the soap to the Mustela. Um, but this is what I bought to use, the Walita two-in-one. So we'll try that once it clears up a little bit more. And then I use this. For his powder and just some gripe water here if you're jamaican or english you know these are the truths um so yeah um so yeah i have this little uh basically bath and everything here lotions and soaps uh this is where his blankets are i got these cute little baskets from amazon too uh his towels and stuff are in there socks bibs and then this is like his little medicine uh box cabinet thing also with the gas oh my gosh y'all y'all have to get this this is like the best thing ever um it's kind of invasive but we use it a lot 
with him. And then this is just like his all-in-ones, sleep sacks, his onesies, and then his blankets and stuff in there. And then I just keep like little bags here for his poopy diapers. Although his poop doesn't really smell bad because um, we are breastfeeding. So yeah, and then I keep his little uh, bag here, um, his little changing bag. Um, there on the side, um, over there is his bottle warmer. And then of course, this is a bed. And then, so this will be the other side we use for him, his own little like nursery nook spot. It's a clear, uh, clear view right there. Um, this is his dirty clothes hamper, his little crib. Um, this is actually a mini crib. So if you, um, I'll put the link in the description for this too but it's um a mini crib so it really fits really good in the bedroom so if you're wanting to do this you could probably get a mini crib like we did and it'll fit really well um so i was vacuuming earlier <laughs> that's not usually in there and then um so i'll start from the top we just got these shelves from amazon and got some cute little plants from ikea i don't know where i got that bird from um his books um these are on the registry most of my co-workers or friends got a uh, book for him the all of these books for him and then some of them are from Kinsley, his older sister, um, got this cute little elephant from his baby shower, and then we have some cute little like robes here hanging up, and this is also where we hang his towel, and this is a little hook from Ikea, and this is his little um, letter board, and every month I'm planning to like update it, we use this also with... Um, his baby pictures in the in the hospital so we're just going to continue to use that uh, just got some pictures here got this from uh, TJ Maxx or something like that I got this from Amazon a little dream catcher I uh, got this from Target this is so cute I wanted to do like three heads on the wall like a moose head bear head and I think I wanted to do like um, a llama or a deer or something like that but uh, this is actually cute, I think, and subtle. It was too much with all three of them. And then we just have like a cute little cow bull picture right here. Um, and then over here to the side, we have some teddy bears. And this is also, I'm not going to open it, but this is also like a little toy chest stool thing. My aunt bought it for me. It's on our registry, but thank you for that because we're going to put his toys in here. And then these little ball things, felt ball things are from Amazon. We just strung them on there and then hung it like that. Um, and then this right here is like a little cart for everything. I usually have my breast pump here, it's downstairs. So, but I, I usually have some water there and some body armor drinks. I literally live on body on my drinks or coconut water um it helps a lot with the milk supply which i learned in the hospital and then i just have some like breast pads here i really like the bam i don't know what they're called i think it bambini or something like that but they're bamboo cloth breast pads which you can reuse and wash but they're so soft and um, i'm tending to use those more than these <laughs> honestly um, then we just have some like just stuff here that I needed in the beginning for breastfeeding. Oops, for breastfeeding, but I don't really use these anymore. Nipple cream. Um, yeah, so don't really use them anymore. And then I use a towel here for my breast pump. 
um some bags here for the milk if i pump overnight i usually have like a cup of water here if i'm pumping overnight so that's a coaster and then i have a basket full of um diapers and wipes for overnight also um these are just my letters for the letter board and then put that back and then um these are my bottles that i use for my pump um i have a mix i have a motif pump but what i did was get an adapter so i could pump straight into the medela bottles um but i'm producing much more now so i'm using two event um eight ounce bottles actually um see these are like oh the writing's off of that one that's how much i use it these are five ounces so i'm using uh event eight ounce bottles right now um that my sister gave me she wasn't using anymore so i use those bottles and then i pour it into here or into one of those baggies because i pump so much more and usually i try to pump for 15 or 20 minutes and i'm like filling over filling this so um yeah so i just tend to keep these over here they're washed and sanitized and everything and i just usually tend to keep these over here um in case i pump overnight and i just pour uh, it in there or in a baggie or both so um yeah some of his stuff this is our closet in our closet also um breast pads some extra of uh, the birds and bees oil Oh, some stuff. stuff we got from the register that we haven't used yet um and some extra diapers uh, those are two we have the rest of the diapers in my daughter's closet because her closet actually is actually big too um so yeah these are his clothes that are not washed he can't really fit yet and or it's like out of season and then we have some of his pants back here um just some machine random it's gonna say random random items back there um, and then these are his clothes that are washed and that he can fit. So, yeah. Um, that's it. So, yeah, definitely if you're in a smaller house or in an apartment and you guys don't feel like moving. Or um, even if you just don't feel like, you know, putting him in a separate room. It can definitely work. Um, I feel like this is one of the smaller places that we've lived in. But, um, you know, who wants to invest in somewhere where you're paying rent? Where We don't want to do that. We want to save for our own. <laughs> so, um, definitely, um, it's an option, you know, for you to just have like a little nursery nook. And um, baby is all good. It's, it's all, you know, everything's good. Um, he has his own little section over there. Um, then we have a swing and everything downstairs because that's usually where we are anyway. Um, but yeah, it definitely can work. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions about like anything that I got or like um, anything that you saw in the video, let me know. It's me back there. <laughs> let me know. Um, and I'll help you out, answer some questions for you. Uh, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe if you want to, and add me on Instagram or any social media platforms that you'd like. Um, see you on the next one.